Hi, I'm Megan, your County Communications Director, and we're starting something new. Each week, we're going to be bringing you updates from county business, events happening around town, and points of interest. With Halloween right around the corner, it's time for Safe Halloween Around the County. The annual Oildale Trunk or Treat will be on October 29th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at 1616 North Chester Avenue in Bakersfield. Dress up and come ready to get some treats and play some games. The Kern County Museum at Pioneer Village will also host a safe Halloween on October 30th and 31st from 5 to 9 p.m. Tickets for children ages 3 to 12 are $10. Children 13 and over are $5. Trick-or-treating is restricted for ages 12 and under, and all trick-or-treaters will be given a treat bag to use when they enter. You can find more details online at kerncountymuseum.org, and tickets are available through the museum gift shop or online at Eventbrite. Next, it's time for the fifth annual Petroglyph Festival in Ridgecrest, California on November 3rd and 4th. The celebration includes a street fair, Native American live music, crafts from Native American artists, tours of the Coso Petroglyphs, and a full slate of Native American dancers and drummers. The amazing artifacts and petroglyphs date back to more than 10,000 years ago. Tickets for the Petroglyph tours must be purchased in advance, so make sure you reserve your spot today before they run out. Now let's talk about a quick business update. Kern County started its operational efficiency effort, Launch Kern, over a year ago and is seeing incredible results. With over 95 projects completed, more than $4.6 million saved and over 20,000 hours gained, Kern County employees are improving their work environment and enhancing services to residents. Nearly 700 employees have been trained in the principles of Lean Six Sigma and we're continuing those efforts to an even greater savings to the county in the months ahead. You can find all of our projects online at launchkern.com. A quick reminder that property tax bills have been mailed out and the first installment is due on November 1st, 2018. You have several options to make a payment, such as mailing your payment in, making your payment in person at 1115 Truxton Avenue, or online at the address displayed on screen. If you decide to make your payment in person, be aware that lines are long the day payments are due, so expect to spend a little bit longer. One more thing we want to make you aware of is the temporary closure of all library facilities on December 7th for staff training. Finally, Kern County has amazing views and great spots for photography. Today we want to tell you about one of them and how to get there. Kern County is home to one of engineering's marvels known as the Tehachapi Train Loop. It was named a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark in 1998. The loop is a long spiral where any train longer than 4,000 feet will actually pass over itself. This line sees nearly 40 trains a day, making it one of the busiest single tracks in the world. If you want to go see it or take pictures, be mindful that there's not a lot of parking up there. You'll take the 58 freeway east to the Keene exit. You'll head east on Wolford to Hatchaby Road for nearly three miles. There are two monuments that overlook the site. Across from the overlook is a turnout for parking that will accommodate about four to five cars. So that's this week's update, and we hope you'll get out and experience all Kern County has to offer. 